Hi folks, today we're gonna combine Vellum and Pyro in sub level in Houdini 19.5. Hi again, my name is Dyson. Happy to be here. As you may know, folks at SideFX decide to bring all the dub solver into SOP. That's a good news for me as an artist because the SOP is so easy to achieve or set up or work. But unfortunately, we don't have any option to merge them together. So I intend to have a series of merging solver in SOP. Today, we're gonna merge pyro and vellum together and if you missed the first one it was flip and bullet solver in sub level that's the video up there okay let's go and merge vellum and pyro okay we have a grid we're gonna remesh that to have a better topology okay now let's create vellum constraint cloth nice we're gonna use this default setting and now let's create vellum solver great okay now let's play and see what we have here okay we're gonna uh, bring this grid little bit up and let's have a ground plane let's play okay that's boring <laughs> honestly and now uh, I'm gonna have a pop force here to have a noisy movement pop force Okay, let's crank this up a little bit and let's play. Okay, that's better Okay, we're gonna use this and we're gonna proceed Now let's set up our pyro solver here. Okay, we're gonna use a sphere for simplicity of this idea Let's create sphere here and now let's create pyro source here and we're gonna use uh, sorry we're gonna need volume rasterize attribute okay let's go ahead and initialize smoke great and now let's rasterize density and temperature nice now we're gonna use sorry we're gonna need a pyro solver here okay and let's copy that okay and paste it here as a relative reference nice okay let's play okay as you see we have this smoke let's decrease buoyancy to have slower uh, speed okay let's enable turbulence and disturbance basically this parameter give us a noisy movement for more information about this guys you can see this video here okay now let's go to field and decrease dissipation here okay before we proceed if you enjoy this video please subscribe for more content and help us to grow and if you kind enough to support me please check out my nft here that's mean a lot to me Okay, we have this smoke. We're gonna connect this velocity pyro to this vellum. Let's go here and delete pop force. Let's create pop advect advect by volume. Okay, now let's go here and create a null. Let's rename that to pyro out for instance. Out, okay, let's go to vellum again. Let's select this null here. Okay okay and now let's play and see what we have here nice as you can see we have some movement let's go to pop advect and increase velocity scale to have more effect nice okay that's so interesting and good okay we're gonna tear this vellum cloth here for that we need edge fracture here let's create one okay let's enable primitive pieces nice and let's increase iteration for more pieces let's play and see what we have here as you can see our pieces 
immediately tearing because we don't have any stitches for them okay for that we need vellum constraint here and we're gonna change that to weld or weld point as you can see we have stitches here and that's so nice let's play and see what we have here okay our cloth is not tearing that's because we need to enable this breaking here okay that's so strong here let's increase that okay better but we need more greater the threshold stronger the constraint okay we need a little bit more and that's so nice i need the this lifting of the cloth that's the uh, magic here and let's play and see that again okay our pyro is lifting this cloth and tearing it apart okay now we have this cloth and let's merge the pyro and this cloth together and we're gonna see what we're missing here and that's our simulation as you can see the pyro is not collide with this cloth okay for that we need to file cache this vellum cloth first and let's do that let's create file cache here and let's file cache it in background in meanwhile let me bring these guys here okay you too and let's have a poly extrude here let's create one poly extrude we're gonna give this cloth a volume a little bit okay and enabling output back here to have end cap nice now we're gonna create vdb from polygon here let's create one okay and that's good for now let's change the voxel size okay we're gonna fix that later on let's connect that to second input of the pyro let's go to collision change that to sdf and we have surface here let's select our surface and let's play and see what we have here okay yeah it's not working as you can see that's because we have holes in vdb let's create vdb reshape and let's change that to here and let's play and see what we have now okay that's worked as you can see that's awesome okay as you can see our pyro is collide with our cloth here and that's so awesome let's see it together okay nice and we need one small thing and that will be the velocity of this cloth we need to add the movement of this cloth to pyro so let's create volume rasterize here Let's connect that to this file cache and we're gonna rasterize the velocity and that's the velocity of the cloth as you can see let's change that okay and now let's merge these guys together let's create merge okay as you can see we have this v and surface and we're gonna assign that here nice and let's play okay as you can see i changed the velocity scale here to have a more obvious movement and let's bring that to 2.5 for instance okay as you can see our pyro is intersecting with our cloth that's because we don't have enough uh, sub step let's increase that and let's play and that's worked and that's so awesome that's without 
v velocity and this with v as you can see that's awesome actually okay because we are in the pyro topic it's good to mention that we have new velocity voxel size here uh, folks at side effects showed us at the presentation that will uh, will give us the faster pyro if you increase that you will have a faster uh, simulation but uh, be careful with it it will impact your result so that's this velocity voxel scale so i guess that's it guys and that's the result and i'm pretty happy with it i hope you enjoy this one have a good day bye